What is up guys and welcome back to another Ray Shadow Legends video with me the real deal. So we're going to be looking at the Magic Affinity Iron Twins today. Um, yesterday it was False Affinity. Um, personally I found False Affinity really easy. I literally just blitzed for it. No problems at all. Uh, Magic Affinity though, different story. Um, found it a lot harder. It did take me a few tries to um, do stage 12. I managed to do it in 4 minutes 32, so quite quick. Um, so the team that I used, it is quite legendary heavy. Um, unfortunately, this is end game content and it is starting to get quite difficult. Um, but, you know, hopefully in the future I can find some teams where I can use uh, epics only or whatever. But something I'm going to have to work, uh, work towards. Um, but yeah, and stage 15 I think is going to be really difficult. Unless you've got like end game, OP, awesome champions, you are going to struggle. Um, I do think that... You probably are going to have to start awakening champions and using blessings to help you get through stage 15. And obviously that's why they are going to be in the game. Um, the other thing I want to say as well is these soul coins um, and soul essences, hold on to them. I'm sure there's going to be events coming out soon where they're going to be a lot more useful and you may get more bang for your buck. So don't just start blowing your load. Please hold on to them and I'm sure stuff will come out that's going to benefit you a lot more. Um, you know, I hoard, when you're free to play, you need to hoard in this game as much as you can um, and it will be more beneficial in the long run. So, um, yeah, let's just get into it and let's uh, watch this recording from earlier. So, this is the team. We've got Ninja, Rector Draft, Mithrala, Brother Brogni and Rotos the Lost Broom. So, Ninja, he's in here because he's just doing massive single target damage to the boss. And he just absolutely slams. Um, Mithrala, I've brought had to bring her in because of her accuracy um, aura lead. Um, unfortunately, my ninja doesn't have enough accuracy because um, he was originally in a clan boss team. So he does need some more accuracy so he, he can hit a bit harder on this boss. Um, Rector Draft, obviously great champion. Um, she's healing. She's resurrecting people. That perfect veil reduces AoE damage that we receive, but also... Um, in her passive, um, if someone's got perfect veil on them, it does less damage as well. So that's just great, great all round champion for this. And also being false affinity is going to help reduce the damage that she receives from the boss. Um, Mithrala, um, yeah, just the accuracy lead, the poison, um, strengthens great. Um, and also um, throws out poisons as well. So do, she's doing loads of little bits here and there to help us out. Brogni is an absolute boss when it comes to this. Um, the shields, the healing, the block debuffs, he does it all. And uh, mine's in a guardian set, so basically he's going to take a load of damage from the rest of the team and he's going to absorb that. Um, Rotos, it's like when you have him against the Griffin, he just smacks super hard, but he's got great survivability as well because of his passive. And yeah, he is just chipping away at the boss. Um, I definitely feel that single target nukers are great for this. Um, so think about some alternatives. Um, Ninja, completely replaceable by pretty much any damage dealer. Um, ideally, you want them to be Magic Affinity, Magic Affinity champions. If they could all be Magic Affinity, I feel that they'd make this uh, run a lot smoother, a lot easier. Um, but, you know, sometimes beggars can't be choosers. Um, a real key to the fight as well is having resistance on your champions. So lots of resistance. If you um, do have enough accuracy in your champions, then I definitely recommend bringing in some with a resistance aura. Um, but they are far and few between. But yeah, Ninja and Rotos can be completely replaceable by any hard hitting, ideally single target um, nukers and ideally magic. Um, it's going to make it a lot easier for you. Rector Draft, yeah, she's pretty replaceable. Any um, champion that resurrects, does healing, you know, they will do the job. Um, even better than Rector Draft would be maybe if you've got someone that can AoE revive. And um, Mithrala, she could be replaced with someone that just actually does, like, healing. Um, Eurogrim would be a great option as well. Eurogrim's a great champion. Um, but yeah, anyone that can do healing and a bit of damage is a great option there. Brogni, 
Oh, it's hard to replace him. He is such a solid champion. Um, yeah, really hard to think of someone that could fill his slot. Um, I'm sure, like, I guess, like, um, anyone that sort of reduces AoE damage and basically, again, just healing, shields, all that good stuff, um, yeah, would help a lot. Um, but yeah, Rotos, well, I said that he is replaceable, but he is he is such a good nuka for this just because of that survivability that he's got. Um, maybe Husk would be a good option to bring in. Um, I used Husk for Force Affinity and, you know, he was doing some work. The only thing is, though, this boss does have that um, passive where max enemy HP champions do less damage, which is quite annoying. Um, but I guess, you know, then everyone just bring in Cold Hearts and, and Royal Guards and stuff. And, you know, you just drop the boss in a couple of seconds. So I do appreciate they don't want it to be too easy. But yeah, so that is pretty much the team um, almost at the end now. You can see, actually, this hasn't been the smoothest of runs at all. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think that for stage 15, I'm going to have to do some re-gearing. Um, definitely need some more resistance in there. But yeah, so 4 minutes stage 2, not bad at all. And let's see. So, basically, uh, Ninja doing most of the work with 1.6 mil damage. I'm quite surprised by that. Rotos, 643 mil, uh, sorry, not even mil, 643k. Um, not that much. I'm not that impressed, actually. I, I thought he was doing a lot more than that. Um, Rogni, I guess he's doing loads of damage because he's reflecting with his um, shields. But also, um, he probably got a HP burn or two in there as well. Um, Retroth, one mil um, of healing, Great work there. And Mithrala doing doing quite a lot of work, actually. 500k there. So almost as much as Rotos. So to be honest, maybe Rotos not such a good option, to be honest. But anyway, let's have a look at the team. Let's look at the gear. Let's look at the masteries. Okay, so let's start with my favorite champion, Rotos the Lost Broom. So mine is in a lethal set. So that's basically Savage with a bit of extra crit rate um, and a broken set. Um, so gloves, crit damage. Um, HP chest, um, speed boots. They've got HP chest for survivability, and he still smacks in the arena. And we've got HP banner, crit damage uh, amulet, and then a HP ring. So total stats: forty-three k HP. And I just want to point out, I've not maxed out my um, what's it called, great hall just yet. So I could push his numbers, and I've not glyphed him out either. But yeah, attack two point eight attack as well. So that helps with his damage. 2.7 defense, 213 uh, speed, 101 crit rate, 268 crit damage, and then I've sort of ignored accuracy and resistance on him. Masteries, very standard. Um, actually, let's just minimize that. So very standard masteries for him. Basically, lots of damage and counterattacks popping off. Um, next up, we have Rectum Draft. So Rectum, Rectum, where it, there you go. There we go, Rectum Draft. So Rectum Draft, triple mortal set. Um, I think we've got HP gloves, HP chest, speed boots, uh, resistance banner, defense uh, amulet, and then a HP ring. Total stats, 68k HP, 2.7 defense, 225 speed, and then um, 271 resistance. So I should actually maybe bump up our resistance a little bit, especially for um, Iron Twins and 202 accuracy. Be nice for her to have a little bit more accuracy um, as she does have a um, decreased attack on her A1. Masteries, very standard stuff. Uh, I said this in my last video, I do need to finish her off and get her that War Master so she can uh, do, uh, do a bit more damage and help out. But yeah, lots of healing on the support tree and then just damage and a bit of survivability on the offense tree. So, Brother Brogni, Brother Brogni, where are you? So, yeah, one of my favorite champions in the game. Um, I use him for so much content. Great for Doom Tower, great for Griffin, and, yeah, great for Iron Twins, and great for Hydra as well. So, gloves. HP gloves, HP chest, speed boots, HP ring, HP um, amulet, and a HP banner. So we have been stacking that HP on him, 84k HP, uh, 2.4 defense, 242 speed, so he's quite fast. 
um, and then 180 resistance quite low um, I should really oh, so it's really difficult because having so much HP on him is so useful but he does need resistance and accuracy as well he's a stat hungry boy he is um, so masteries um, I do need to finish him off um, so yeah just defense tree and then accuracy and I went for eagle eye because he has no accuracy but yeah definitely need to work on that so we've done rotos we've done brother brogni we've done rectum draft ninja so yeah so my ninja is in a relentless set which is so good on him it's just amazing I'd never build ninja for arena he's his place is he's the dungeon and boss slayer um, it's where he belongs so yeah he is in he's got some amazing gloves by the way um quad roll speed crit damage gloves um attack chest speed boots attack ring crit damage um amulet and then an accuracy banner so we got 32k hp and um, 400 attack 206 speed 109 crit rate uh, 229 crit damage and then 216 accuracy um, masteries we've got loads of counter attack in there and then we've just got sort of standard um, offensive tree for any sort of boss content so that's pretty much ninja and then we've got mithrala so one thing i do want to point out a common theme here i've not properly glyphed all of my champions out i do need to do that but she's in a triple perception set um stone skin and triple perception is pretty much the only way to go with her uh, stone skin is really good for arena um but just because basically it reduces damage so if someone does try to nuke her and you don't have loads of reaction gear like me then it is definitely a good idea to think about putting her in stone skin otherwise triple perception is the way to go so we've got uh, defense gloves, got um, accuracy chest, um, HP boots. So I think I've got, oh, come on, it's taking ages to load. There we go. Ideally, this should be a HP ring and the substats are terrible on it, but it's a reaction. And the reason she's got that on is just because it gives her that survivability for arena. Um, then we've got a HP um, amulet. And it's got resistance and accuracy on it. And then we've got a um, accuracy banner. And I could definitely push these stats. Um, especially the accuracy, the resistance, the speed. I'm just so low on glyphs. I need, there needs to be another way to get glyphs. I am just starving. I'm so hungry for glyphs. But anyway, 59 uh, khp, um, 3.4 defense, um, 229 speed. Um, and then 225 resistance and 619 accuracy. Um, so masteries, um, um, support and um, defense, that is pretty much the only way to go with her. You could, of course, change it up and have offense for PvE content, but I feel this is a much better build because then you can use her in Arena and you can use her everywhere else in the game, to be fair. Um, I mean, it just depends if you wanted to do a bit more damage, but I do feel like this is the best way to go. You're getting loads of counter-attacks with that A1, so you're going to throw out poisons. Uh, potentially push back turn meter as well with Evil Eye. And, of course, we've got Eagle Master. Sorry, Eagle Eye, which is just giving us that, um, you know, extra accuracy, which basically just makes her passive so good. So that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe and make sure you share with your clan and cluster um, so everyone can learn how to beat the Iron Twins. Um, the other thing as well, if anyone's got any other team comps, please leave in the description below. Please leave a comment. Um, you know, let's learn from each other. Let's share the love and let's have a good time. So until next time, guys, take care. Peace.